Before we get into the meat, I would just love to know how logistically this week has been for you, how you're managing it with school and you know, getting out, leaving, leaving Gainesville, leaving the school, being here. How are you managing, yeah, both now going on at the same time? Um, yeah, I mean, right before this um, World Trials, I think it was kind of a busy few days. Like, I was going to talk to all my professors, telling them I might be gone for a long time, so just what I need to do. And then we have recruits on campus, so we were busy with that, and then we packing, and then the football game, we had the like a on the field presentation, so that was fun. So got our rings for SNC championships, and I'm here, so I'm glad that's all out of the way. So I don't know, I just like getting things done, and then moving on to the next thing. Do you have like a routine when you come from something like that to an event like this that kind of lets you reset and kind of push everything else out of your mind? Oh well, yeah, I, like I said, I just like getting things done. So I'm like, okay, that's out of the way. Now I can focus on what's next. So I think I had a good um, couple of days of training here and a pretty good competition. So I'm just excited to see what the team's like. How many bows did you bring with you this <laughs> Um, Let's see, last year I brought 40. This year I brought 40 of the normal size ones. And then I brought 20 of the small ones for my shoes. <laughs> Wait, did you bring them for yourself or you brought them to sell them? I brought them for myself. 40. So I have 60 total. Why do you need 60 bows? Because we have lots of training leos <laughs> and lots of competition leos, and I'm not sure what the exact colors are, so I have lots. You guys do this cool thing at Florida where you do like this like prancer size runway warm up of artistry with each other where you kind of like an oh, yeah, yeah. you do. Uh -huh. um, so if you were going to do one of those, for the, and bring it to the world team. <laughs> like, which, any of those that you would do? Did you have a favorite one? Uh, I mean, it's like our handshake with one of our teammates that we do before every um, competition. So, it's last year I did it with Riley, and we had like a high five, then we had a heart, and then we were doing our little artistic dance thing. <laughs> While some people have their other styles, so I just don't be that dancing person. Any chance of bringing that to the world this year? Maybe. Awesome. We'll see. How has this week gone for you? Like we, last year, compared to this year, as far as your goals, as far as the way you were, yeah, what you wanted to go on this week. How how has the last two days been for you? Um, I think I was really happy with my performance because the last time the World Trials, I was traveling on my birthday. It was in 2019, and then I missed my fault, and then I didn't make the team, and it was just terrible experience. Um, I really wanted to be on that world's team, but I'm glad this world trials went a lot better this time and it happened to land on my birthday this time. What, if anything else, are you doing to celebrate your birthday? Um, I guess the biggest gift would be to be on the world's team. <laughs> So how how um, how have you been told how that will take place? Like, what are you anticipating when you leave here and go back to the hotel? I don't know. I mean, I've done everything I could in these last two days, and now it's just in the hands of the selection committee. So we're just gonna go through all the scores and routines and look over what's best for USA. But you had the confidence to talk to your professors already and let them know. Yeah, I told them I might. You know, this is the goal. I might be gone until October or something, but I'll keep you updated. And what did they say? They said, okay, we'll work with you. Thankfully, like, the two professors that I have in person, they've had previous gymnasts, so they're like, I went up to introduce myself on the first day, and she's like, trust me, I know you. I'm like, okay, good. And then the other one, um, I took some summer classes with her, so she also did me. And the first day, I introduced myself, and she's like, how are your Leo's going? I was like, oh, well, she, she knows me. And then she sent me a good luck video from the class, so that was really sweet. When you were here? Yeah, they just did yesterday. What classes are you taking? Um, I'm taking physiology and then some major courses, so I think it's a uh, one less class than I normally do, so it's a little bit lighter for this. Did you talk to any of the judges here this time? No, no judges yet. <laughs> okay, but you're, were you in agreement with your D scores? Um, they're Most always well. fluctuating, but I'm just trying to get the max. I was happy with the beam is a little bit higher than the first day. 